Hello friends, welcome back to Extra Gent Scents. How are you? I've got a new fragrance release in front of me here. Came in uh, last week and I've been checking it out a little bit, though I would still say that this is basically a first impression. It is from Ralph Lauren and it's the new Polo Red Parfum. Yeah, oh boy, a new polo. For me, the Polo Red line has been like a little bit love and hate. So with Polo Blue, the first one, the original Eau de Toilette, I'm not really huge on that one, not a big fan. But then some of the ones that came afterward, some of the flankers in the Polo Blue line, I thought were really nice, very well done actually. Some of them I think are really good, especially if you can find them for a sick discount, then they're even better. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We'll check out the presentation, let you know how it smells, and let you know my general thoughts. As always guys, I will have this linked in the description along with some of the other Polo Red fragrances in case you wanna check them out down there. And as usual, uh, the codes twistedlily.com, maxroma.com. If you shop for fragrances on those websites, use the code GENTS10, save yourself 10% off. If you shop at uh, luckyscent.com, the code starting in April through end of June, it's GENTS2023. That'll get you 10% off your order from there. First up, presentation. So here we got the box. Uh, as you can see there, it's your typical polo box. You've got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, uh, size and concentration right there on the front. I have the 75 mil. Up top it says RL Parfum. On one side you have information letting you know that you can refill the bottle, which is uh, very popular right now. And then on the other side, nothing but a QR code. On the back you have your ingredient information along with your barcode. And on the bottom, you have your badge code. My badge code is 38W002K. And here is the bottle. And I do like this new polo bottle style. It harkens back to the other polo bottles, the older polo bottles, but it modernizes it, makes it look sleeker, and I think it looks nice. So you have your polo logo on the front there, it says Parfum at the bottom, Ralph Lauren around, the collar up on top of the cap. You have an RL once again. On the bottom, you have a sticker with your badge code and the cap does click into place. As always, let's share a couple sprays here so you can check out the atomizer. Here we go. It's actually really good. Ralph Lauren has come a long way. <laughs> Their older atomizers some of the worst in the game, like the atomizers on the original Polo Green, um, the Polo Blue atomizer, those are so crappy. And on some of the uh, older Ralph Lauren fragrances from decades ago, oof. Okay, Ralph Lauren Polo Red Parfum. What's the deal? Well, one of the things, for me anyway, that always made Polo Red Polo Red was the cranberry note. Cranberry being in the top of the, <laughs> at least to me, best fragrances in the Polo Red line. It gave the fragrance line a unique quality. Like when you smelled it, you knew, oh, it's Polo Red. You can smell the cranberry, there it is. It's kind of like with Hugo Boss, the scent. And all the scent fragrances, they have Meninka. So when you smell them, you smell the Meninka, and right away you can place it. Oh. That's Hugo Boss's The Scent. Same deal with uh, Polo Red. The cranberry in there, as I said, that was what made Polo Red Polo Red. It had this very nice tartness to it, but still very sweet and unique. It was uh, attention grabbing. And I particularly liked Polo Red Intense because it did amp up that cranberry and just really put it on full blast. And one of the things I noticed when this was announced is no cranberry note. So what gives? Now, thankfully with this, when you spray it on your skin and also a tester strip and you go in for a whiff, it has that cranberry vibe there. Is it as prominent as I would like it? No, but for it to not be listed in the notes at all, it's a welcome surprise to see that there is at least some of that cranberry creeping its way through. Officially, Blood Orange, I think, is the, uh, the citrus off the top, which would put this more in line with um, Polo Red Extreme, which had 
blood orange in there. But it's a similar kind of vibe with that opening where yes, there's citrus, but you do get a bit of that cranberry coming through. But unlike Polo Red Extreme, there is no coffee in this one. Instead, the interesting note du jour of this fragrance is absinthe, which doesn't really make any sense. A lot of the time with the Polo Red fragrances, they would try to incorporate red notes into the fragrance so that it kind of made overarching sense. That's why you get, you know, blood orange instead of just orange, and that's why you get the cranberry. Absinthe is uh, not red <laughs> and does not give across uh, any kind of red vibe. But interestingly enough, uh, you don't really get absinthe in here, or at least I don't. Uh, as it dries down, do I pick up any wormwood? Do I pick up any absinthe? No, not really. Do I get any kind of green vibe coming through there? Also, no. So it's, uh, it's just one of those things where it, it does come across questionable, maybe. Uh, but I'm sure other people out there will pick up on the absinthe more than I do and uh, maybe it will make more sense for them. Now, one thing that I do find extremely interesting here is uh, as the opening dries down and fades away, which happens quite quickly, unfortunately that cranberry blood orange kind of vibe in the opening, that does not stick around long. It is gone very, very quickly. Uh, but I start to pick up what feels like a, a smooth, lightly sweet suede leather underneath everything. To me, it's unmistakable. Like if they had a leather accord in the official note breakdown here, I feel like a lot of people would be going, oh yeah, it, it turns into this pretty smooth leather as it dries down. Now you have orris in here, you've got lavender, you have musk, cedar wood, and uh, also a bit of a Poppinax in the base. But the way that these are coming together is like a leather. Like maybe you have the orris around the edges a little bit and it's not gonna come across at all like you would maybe expect it to when you look at the note breakdown. Maybe you get a little cleanliness, a little bit from the orris mixing together with the lavender, but ultimately uh, the way these come across to me, again, is, is kind of as a suede leather accord, the way that they mix and mingle. You retain a little sweetness from the opening not too much, just a little, just a little tiny fruity tinge that, that lingers on. But as I said, it dissipates very quickly from the opening. And then as you hit the dry down, uh, that Apophenax mixes together with the, the woodiness from the cedar and the remnants of that, that sort of lightly, lightly sweet, semi-clean leather kind of vibe mixes together with those notes in the bass. And I gotta say, it's very pleasant. Very pleasant from the opening into the dry down. Is it something that wows me? No, no, it doesn't wow me. Do I think it's as good as the Polo Reds that I'm in love with, Intense and Extreme? No, I don't. This does smell more modern than those. It does smell definitely more modern, uh, but when I smell Intense and Extreme, there are facets of those fragrances that when I smell them, I'm like, okay, this is something cool and I really enjoy it. With this one, a little bit safer, but still really competently done. So this is one of those ones that I think is good. Like I would give it a thumbs up, but it's not like a, an ecstatic thumbs up. And I think it's better than the original Polo Red at this point. So while it's maybe not a return to the fragrances I love the most from the line of the recent Polo Reds, I think it's the best one. Now, as far as performance goes, this one lingers for a pretty good amount of time off my skin, uh, but it doesn't project really loudly. So I have been uh, comparing and contrasting some different fragrances here lately, uh, some fragrance emissions that I've gotten in myself, and this one tends to get overwhelmed by other fragrances when I'm wearing two things at once, which I, I know normal people don't do. But like if I'm wearing Polo Red Parfum over here, I've got something else going on, over here, the Polo Red has tended to kind of get swallowed up by whatever else I'm wearing. It's still there, it's just the projection is not you know, really pumping, at least not off my skin. It's it's subtle, it's there, but it's it's pretty soft, you know, it's pretty mellow. Once it settles into that mid, it's it's doing its thing, but it's it's doing it in a way that's very, you know, kind of laid back. So pretty good longevity. Uh, but the projection, a little soft, moderate to soft, I'd say. My suggestion to you is that if you're a big Polo Red fan, 
absolutely check it out, 100%. You know, go into a store, spray it on your skin. See how it works. Wear it around, and if you like it, go ahead and scoop it up. Otherwise, probably wait until it hits discounters. Typically, Ralph Lauren fragrances aren't marked off a huge amount initially, so you may be looking at a, a decent weight if you're trying to get it like considerably marked down from where it's at right now. But I think it's worth sampling. This is one that I, I don't think you just write off as crap right away. I think you gotta sample it, and if you like it, go ahead and, and rock with it. It's one of those ones where I can tell you it's it's worth that much. Check it out. And I guess to be fair, it, it bucks the trend a little bit, a little bit, because uh, right now a lot of fragrances are extremely sweet from open into mid and dry down. This one does have sweetness initially, but uh, from the mid into the dry down, it's very moderated, the sweetness. You know, it's not sweet on top of sweet. All right, that'll do it for me. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Polo Red Parfum. I like it. I'm gonna give it more wear. See how it goes. Thank you all for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. See you all another day with another video. See you all later. Mm -hmm.